What's going on YouTube? Robbie again, and today we're going to be taking a look at Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Prowl. Uh, now this is a repaint slash retooling of the um, smokescreen mold, and uh, as you can see it does not come with his uh, little uh, gear. It doesn't come with the little piece that goes over the hood of the car, um, but it comes with a Fire Lance missile launcher, so uh, yeah, you got that. Uh, so the color scheme has changed up a bit and where smokescreen was still mostly white This guy adds a lot of black and some red bits in there as well And even just from inside the packaging to me looks a lot nicer uh, than smokescreen did So checking out the back we can see uh, he's got a little little blurb on the side here It says this powerful Autobot enforcer is cool under pressure, but hot on the tail of the Predacons Uh-huh. Yeah, so he comes with this little missile launcher it says snap-on armor, but mm, yeah, I don't see any in here, so unless it's like buried in the packaging somewhere, which I highly doubt, uh, I think that may just be uh, misinformation. You see this technical data on the side here, uh, so it's all pretty, he's very courageous and very skillful and very intelligent, so uh, all of the stats are really really high actually uh, but uh, that's pretty much it so what I'm gonna do is open this guy up and we will check him out in hand so I'll see you in just a alright guys here we have Beast Hunters Prowl in his vehicle mode and the first thing that came to my mind uh, when I got him into vehicle mode was that man this thing looks a whole lot like the Legion class figure just scaled up like this is a very plain looking car um and it's not that it's bad looking it's just very plain you've got it's all white except for this one stripe of black and you know the the light bar here uh which you know looks okay from the front but uh okay I'll check this out yeah that's some nice paint job there hasbro factory nice nice uh yeah so you got the police uh you know police on the side here you got a little star on the door of course the light bar which is really cool um, and the front end so other than the paint job this is the exact same mold as smokescreen and I do apologize in advance I I wanted to get the smokescreen figure uh, to compare for for this review but I just didn't I didn't have the time to dig him out he's in he's in storage so I didn't have time to grab him uh, so I do apologize about that, so, you know, just, just bear with me. Use, use your imagination. Uh, yeah, so he does come with this little giant, giant missile sticking out of a tiny handgun, which is uh, spring-loaded and shoots okay. Uh, you can plug that into the top of his light bar. Uh, you can also plug it in on his, uh, on his spoiler here on the sides, and... Uh, as for vehicle mode, that's pretty much the only points that he has. Um, but yeah, so it really is just the same same as the smokescreen mold. That's certainly not a terrible thing. Um, you can see the bottom here. Not a whole lot going on. Just white and black, and that's pretty much it. So we're just going to get right into the transformation. And to do that, we're just going to start off by splitting the back end here, just like so. Um, then you want to kind of pop the hood of the car, sort of, so you just want to kind of press down on this bit and push up on this at the same time. Helps to separate this a little bit, too. There we go. And this one should pop up just like so. And then these are going to be the arms, like so. We're just going to pull them right out go flip the wheels around uh, you want to get the head out of the way now and you got to remember when you transform into vehicle mode you got to leave this piece that the head is on kind of at an angle like this uh, otherwise the head will come down and there won't be any clearance for the car to roll uh, the car rolls fairly well um, it can sometimes be impeded by various bits of robot um, and sometimes, you know, uh, just the nature of the transformation can sometimes cause friction uh, for the wheels, and the fact that they're clipped on and not the pinned, uh, you know, free-spinning pinned wheels can also 
kind of cause a little little bit of mess there but just pop the head up kind of get that out of the way and then pull the shoulder pads out as well just get that out oh, there you go and then this bit will come up with the doors of the wings and that'll just come up and then you can just plug that right into the back of the head piece just like so and then flip the flip the windows in there you go so we're we're getting we're getting there already uh, you want to take the false chest actually first we're gonna take care of the arms first we'll take care of the arms so we'll take the the wheels as you can see and there's a little kind of curved bit there you just want to go ahead and plug that in to the wheels plug it right in there you go very nice and then you can plug the false chest in here Sure it all lines up and then reattach the wings because they inevitably pop out and there you go we're getting there we're getting there and just flip the waist around flip these bits down they're gonna be the feet 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 and the sides of the legs or the shins will pop out from the sides of the the insides of the car I should say just like so there you have it. Uh, and then for the arms, you just want to kind of accordion this down and kind of turn it around to the back of the arm and accordion it down and turn it around on the back of the arm. And that is, uh, that's Prowl. You can just adjust his shoulder pads however makes you happy. Um, yeah. And that's really it. Now, this is where this guy really shines, because I think this is a very nice-looking robot mode. Um, and since he's no longer a character from the show, like, the cheaty chest doesn't bother me as much. Um, it is kind of odd that the headlights on his chest are a different color than the headlights on the car itself. Um, but, you know, what are you going to do? Uh, but I think it looks really nice. I really like the, uh, the kind of teal accents he's got going on there. And just the, just the colors really work in this mode. I think he's got enough color going on, you know, enough breaking up the, the patches of white. Uh, that it looks, it looks really nice. And he can, of course, hold his gun like so in his little hand, mostly. There you go. And uh, fight crime or whatever. Uh, yeah, so like smoke screen, he's got ball jointed shoulders. They got a good range of motion there. He's got the elbows. He's got the he's got a bicep swivel going on here. He's got a ball jointed uh, neck. And let me show off the head sculpt. It's a totally new head sculpt, and I think it looks really really nice. Very cool. Very expressive going on there. Uh, he's got a waist swivel, ball jointed hips, uh, thigh swivel. And the knee bend there, as well as a little bit of little bit of motion in the foot, uh, as well. So, yeah, very very nice. Uh, let's see, I gotta have something to compare them to. So how about how about our good old standby, Mr. Viacon? There you go. So you can see there. Uh, he's a little bit shorter, but definitely a lot wider. Uh, than the Viacon, so uh, definitely good, good size proportions there, I think, and uh, he just looks really cool. I mean, check him out. He looks really cool, just just posed like that. Um, I really do like him. He's very difficult to find. I was very surprised when I saw saw him uh, in a store, and I, I grabbed him and ran to the register because I, I thought I was sure I was never going to see this guy in person but uh, maybe as they as they come out with you know revisioned you know revised waves or whatever I don't know if he'll be included in any of the uh, you know newer simplified uh, deluxes like I don't know what 
I don't know what the SKUs are for that, or I don't know, you know, what the case assortments are going to look like. Um, so who knows if this guy will ever be found in, you know, mass mass retail or not. Um, so, yeah, I would say definitely if you find him, pick him up. He's, he's totally worthwhile. He's a, he's a fun figure. Um, he looks decent in both modes. His car mode is a little bit boring, but, I mean, it is it is what it is. I mean, it's a white and black police car. You can only get so much out of that. But uh, he's a little bit empty from the back, but that's okay. Um, he does not at all come with the... Uh, battle armor that it says on the packaging so I don't know what that's about they just need to uh, need to get rid of that or maybe they knew he was gonna be short packed and they just didn't care but um, yeah Beast Hunters Prowl very very nice figure um, totally worth looking at um, just don't go crazy don't go crazy hunting him down unless you're an absolute completionist because there are, there are better versions of Prowl out there but uh, this one's pretty deep pretty neat pretty decent pretty deet i totally combined those two words and i made a new word so you know you're welcome for that uh that's gonna do it for this review guys i want to thank you so very much for watching as always be sure to like comment subscribe all that good stuff um i'm gonna go take a nap now so thanks again for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye for now